Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and today is Patch Tuesday. Yep, the second Tuesday of the month of March 2020. And that means that today, of course, lots of security updates for Windows. Of course, Windows 8.1 and several versions of Windows 10. Once again, we are now at the uh, second month without updates for security for Windows 7. Just a quick note, because some people are saying, well, I got security updates for Windows 7 last month. Those were not security updates. They were just a bug fix for a problem that was created with the January update. So, of course, Windows 7 out of the game still. So second month, meaning Windows 7 will now have even more um, security flaws. So what's in there? Well, first of all, uh, it's update. These updates are available for um, so regular users on the October 2018 update. That brings your version to 17763.1098, and of course May and November 2019 updates, uh, 18362 and 18363 .719. Both versions sharing the same ending because they're the same version, roughly, with just a few little new things in the November update. We'll have a little more detailed look when we have the full blog post of what security updates are in there a little later. But what we know for now is that it's a mix of security updates and there's a few bug fixes also. So apparently there's a few little things that uh, were happening uh, that fixes uh, some of the bugs in here. But uh, what is the updates? Well, there's updates to Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, uh, updates to um, security when using external devices, such as game controllers, printers, and web cameras, apparently. Uh, the full upgrading, of course, has um, updates for the Windows app platform, Frameworks, Windows Media, Windows Silicon Platform, Edge, Internet Explorer, Windows Fundamentals, Windows Authentication, Windows Peripherals, Windows Update Stack, and the Windows Server. So there's, uh, of course, a lot of fixes. We'll see how many uh, in a, a couple of, uh, in, in the next video, of course. Um, we'll see if it's intense like uh, like it, it was last uh, month and in, in, in the month before. Uh, there's one fix for uh, corrupted third-party assemblies that makes uh, certain users uh, prevent certain users to upgrade the uh, operating system. So, see if you aren't able to move forward. Apparently, there's a fix in here that enables and fixes a problem that you couldn't move forward to a next version of Windows 10 in that little thing. So, head on to your computers because I mean, there's optional updates that I always say that's not important if your computer runs well, but security updates are definitely important. And uh, of course, I am at the forefront of the situation, looking at what's happening, if there's anything uh, going bad or anything, you know, we'll talk about it. Uh, of course, these are always little critical updates and moments. And it seems in the last month, uh, Microsoft has not had the best of times with updates. But these security updates keep you safe, and it's important to apply them. So head on to your Windows updates and check it out. And of course, if you don't, well, we're probably going to install in the next day or two automatically through the Windows update um, in Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.